there's a lot of drama going on when it concerns someone someone that used to be in your energy someone's going through a lot of strife all because of their choices or toxic ways this is someone who wants to have some type of good news with you they're watching waiting looking for another way back in after being very disloyal or deceptive towards you i feel like this is someone who has unfinished business with you I feel like this unfinished business is not just with you, but also with self. This energy has a lot of unhealed situations or wounds that they have failed to heal. I feel like this energy is going through a great sense of loss. There's no good news. And this energy is wanting to come back in. This energy is wanting to catfish you. I feel like this is someone who wants to catfish you, want, wanting you to believe that they are ready wanting access to you. Someone is wanting you to allow access, but I feel you're reading between the lines when dealing with this energy because in so many ways they have failed you every time. I feel in so many ways you could be unbothered. You already know the truth or no or not. Wow. I feel your, your energy of being unbothered is frustrating them. This energy feels like you gave up too easily, but I feel you gave all that you could with someone who gave less than nothing. I feel this energy caused a lot of heartbreak within a situation, causing there to be little love because there's a lot of trust issues. I feel there's no love within this situation because of the heartbreak. Someone wanted to have friends with benefits. This energy ignored you, kept a lot of secrets, and now your heart is unlocked. I feel your heart is locked away because of someone's betrayal, heartbreak, and deceit. They ignored the signs and they caused a lot of confusion, causing a door to be closed. I feel this open door is now closed because this energy had countless suitors or countless problems, causing a lot of drama for you. This energy is coming out as a player who is now experiencing the unknown. As I said before, the door is closed, you're unbothered, and this energy is completely frustrated, feeling like you gave up easily when I feel in so many ways you're just tired of giving chances, chances to someone who doesn't deserve it. This energy is coming out as a runner, a runner who now wants sympathy, but I feel there's no more chances. You've been generous, compassionate, you compromised, and I feel you're no longer putting that energy into the situation. And now they're just trying to figure you out. I feel like you're trying to figure things out as well. Especially when it comes to this energy. They have taken you through a lot with their sneaky behaviors. Sneaky or snake-like behaviors. This energy is always showing up in disguise. Causing many of you to just let go. Be free of this. Because you can see that this energy is emotionally immature. Emotionally unready. You're no longer putting energy in understanding them. You're relocating to recharge, and you're trying to come out of these cycles with someone who is a complete trickster, a fraud. Someone who is always playing games. You now feel like something is no longer worth the wait. This energy wants to reconnect or set a date, but this energy is still having reckless nights and playing with the hearts of others. I feel there's a third party here as well, but I feel that is not a big deal in this situation. They don't measure up. Someone that's realizing nothing else compares, but yet they have still found no way or haven't found another way of doing things. They are stuck in their ways, stuck in some bad habits, and still causing a lot of heartbreak. There is no good news because of the unfinished business or the unhealed energy that has caused a lot of trust issues and regret. For many of you, you regret how generous you were to this energy. They always made you regret how long you stayed or how much you gave. I feel many of you are no longer being generous or having sympathy for someone who is never sorry. Always wanting sympathy from you when never giving that same energy out. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here? This is someone who has been careless with their actions careless with your emotions and this connection they want some type of renewal 
they want something to be different, but this energy hasn't changed. This energy hasn't changed at all. In fact, I feel like this energy in so many ways has just gotten worse. They're still a runner. This energy is still a runner and still causing drama in other spaces. Yet this energy is wanting to reboot something with you. Trying to find some type of leverage to embrace you. They could be watching online or trying to make some type of resolution. They're trying to figure some things out. They're trying to get more information because there's been some type of divide. They feel like they don't know you anymore. You've changed. This energy is looking for leverage to embrace this situation because they want to reboot this. Someone wants to go another round, take another chance. But I feel this energy is always having a failure to launch. Things are going nowhere. I feel this energy has a failure to la launch when it comes to the affairs of the heart. Because there's no building when dealing with this energy. Because they're always taking a risk and gambling with your heart. This is someone who has gambled with your heart. They did something very unexpected. They blindsided you with some type of disrespect. They dishonored this connection, but I feel like for some of you, you expected something. You felt something coming, and for others, you didn't see this at all because you were dealing with a great pretender. Someone who acts uninterested but is still stalking you or wanting you in some type of way, yet I feel in so many ways they have bragged. This is a bragger, someone who is always bragging about their conquest or bragging about their cheating ways or the fact that they are always testing the waters with you. This is flip-flop energy of someone who is always changing, never the same. But I always, but also feel it's never in a good way. Now they could be nervous and more curious than ever when it comes to you. But I also feel curiosity kills the cat. Someone wants this back, but I feel they always sell you out, thinking that there is something better or some type of pot of gold. This energy wants to reunite. In fact, for many of you, they will be resurfacing. But I feel this energy is still being unreasonable, seeing things only one way. But I feel this energy is coming out as Mr. Krabs, someone who is hard on the outside, yet soft on the inside, but still not wanting to admit how much love they have for you. This energy is trying to be inconspicuous. This energy is trying to be nonchalant about how they feel, but low-key, they want you back. They just know they don't deserve it. This is why they're inconsistent and flaky. I feel like this energy is inconsistent and flaky because they're trying to cover something up. They're trying to cover up their motives within a situation, trying to prevent a truth from coming out about them or something that they are involved in. But I feel for many of you, you already know the truth. You feel the truth or you already know this energy has been misinformed. And as always, they somehow take the easy way out, always sending some type of mixed signal. In so many ways, this is someone you wanted so bad to see the best in, yet they've only been fair weather and inconsistent, always hmm, time, time to show you they've changed. Hmm, only consistent when disappointing you. This is what I see. I feel like this energy is misinformed about someone like you. They're paranoid about telling the truth or just being real with you, being 100 with you. I feel this is someone who's always telling a partial truth, never truly putting the pieces together so that they don't get caught or seen for who they are, but I feel you know the truth. I feel this is someone who only causes more questions than answers because there's a lot of layers to this. There's a lot of layers to their character, who they pretend to be, and even what they want from you. I feel for many of you, you have no clue where you stand with this energy because they have yet to be truthful about it. They've caused some type of conspiracy or some type of pushback when it comes to something that is completely random. But I feel this energy does want to make an impact. They want a future with you. But they feel after what they've done, it may not be any fooling you. 
This energy wants to be spontaneous, but this energy has no progress, slow progress. This energy is slow as molasses. This energy has no true remorse, and this is why they've had no access to you. I feel for many of you, you have no sympathy for the lies they tell or the truth they want you to believe. Because they are always causing some type of distraction or some type of destruction when it comes to outside energies or even their friends, family. I feel like this energy could be, be preparing something when it comes to you. Trying to find their way back into your energy, weasel their way back in. They're trying to locate or find some type of easy way to get to your emotions wanting to use the emotional history of this relationship to reboot things but I feel it's only to cover up something else whatever this is is unexpected there, this is something that they took a gamble on when it comes to building blocks this energy wants to reboot something with you not realizing how far they've gone to push you away because something is now unrepairable or hard to change I feel like this energy definitely put you in a very tough position. Wow. I feel like in so many ways it was hard to watch this energy fall from grace, become someone else, or finally reveal their true colors as what could have been everlasting has now been lost. I feel things have been lost because this energy is always changing up on you. Flip-flop energy of someone who is not standing in their energy, not standing in their power. And now all they have left is the memories. Nostalgia, still reflecting, but not accepting what they've done. They're just curious. Interested in what you're attracting, what you're doing, who you're seeing. But I feel for many of you, you're just focused on self not wanting something else to make you complete. You're looking into different ways of making yourself happy and creating change for your future. I feel this is something they should be stepping into or trying to embrace instead of trying to have leverage over you. I feel this runner is used to their toxic ways and whatever this is that was unexpected, they definitely took a gamble on their foundation with you. Hmm. Risk taker. This is someone who's always seeking a thrill. This is why things seem like a roller coaster, roller coaster when dealing with them. They're always being reckless, trying to manipulate people or things, never compromising. This energy has caused you to hold back because they do. This is someone who knows that you seek a truth. Wow, but I feel this energy has been careless with their effort. Wow, this energy has been careless with their effort of speaking the truth, being honest or upfront with you because they're stubborn, rigid, not wanting to be flexible in a situation and they always seem to point the finger at you. I feel like this energy is stubborn when it comes to a profound change, an ending, a transformation, where this energy has no commitment to anyone, not even themselves. There's no loyalty. There's no de devotion causing damage, broken hearts, causing many of you to be emotionally closed. I feel there's a lot of past trauma when dealing with this situation where there's a lot of illusion and this energy has missed a really big opportunity with you causing a lot of suffering, grief, and loss. There's no recovery. Hmm. There's no harmony, there's no peace, there's no calm within this storm because this energy has failed to change. This is why something has yet to reboot, because they're still trying to cover up who they truly are. Even though it's painfully obvious, they're still keeping secrets from you. Still staying quiet about what needs to be spoken, this energy is paranoid about you finding it out, but it's only become more of a burden for them to carry. I feel like this energy has a lot of hidden truth, a lot of skeletons in the closet, but I also feel there's a lot of gossip and rumors circling around them trying to be blind to the truth or unaware or totally oblivious to a third party or even the stress that they're beginning to carry because this energy is definitely stressed out. I feel this energy is not wanting to be judged, but they're only bringing harsh judgment upon themselves by doing harm to others, creating chaos, trouble, turmoil, turbulence for others, yet 
in so many ways someone's about to realize something that they'll never forget. Yeah, I sense even though they have screwed their chances with you, life still has a way of humbling those who seem to have a lack of respect or empathy for others. As nothing they have done will ever go unjustified or without consequences. Someone can't run from their judgment even though they're not wanting to be judged, they're stressed out about you seeing the truth, but someone doesn't even realize that you already see it. You're no longer looking through these false lenses. And even though things are hidden, you still are very aware that you are not safe. You're not safe in their hands. And in so many ways, they're just clearly not ready, not ready to be with you. I feel this energy needs to grow up. They have a lot of changing to do. And for some of you, you just feel like it's too little, too late. Someone's too old to change or too immature to see a truth because they're not even trying. This energy has flip flopped on you for the last time. Let's get a final day here. Mixed signals. I feel like this energy is always sending mixed signals in a situation, causing you to question your actions towards them because they're always making you question theirs. judgment. This is someone who doesn't want to receive judgment in this situation. This is why they have a lack of change. This is why there's a lack of communication. Someone's pretending like they don't understand when they clearly know the truth. Hmm. Someone wanted you to be lovesick, but I feel they didn't make the right decision. Now they're being unsocial, wanting to rush in, but they feel like they'll be shamed. I feel this judgment is thick. This is another reason why someone is wanting to come in because something that they're going through is somewhat unbearable. I feel the situation that they have invested in is now turning on them, not working for them, but against them. Hmm. Now someone is wishing they never took a chance. Hmm. So this energy knows they should have never taken this chance, but there's still no clear remorse. They're not giving in to the guilt that they should be feeling here. This is why for many of you feel like they'll never change. Because you feel like this persona that they put on will never change. They'll never let go of this false way of being because they're too comfortable sitting in it. This is someone who is too comfortable in the way they choose to be. This is why there is no change. There is no activity. This is someone who feels like everyone is like this. This is why they're so cold. This is why there's no regret. But this energy is also coming out as needy. Being stuck in the past, being stuck in pleasures or weak ways of being, this energy is stuck in the past and criticizing you, telling a false story because they believe everyone leaves because you have walked away. For many of you, this energy feels like you should have stuck it out and stuck with this. Even though they were putting on a show, this energy feels like you should have allowed them to be who they are to show how much you really care, how devoted you will be. But I feel you never signed up for this. Not at all. I feel like this energy has a lot of pent up anger, misplaced energy that they project onto you because they have failed to heal a lot of things of the past, this energy has become a lone wolf, unavailable, unlovable. I feel there's a lot of past trauma when dealing with this energy, not wanting to be vulnerable. They have made being with them impossible. Someone made this situation too risky for you. I feel things are too risky when it comes to sex or even trying to rescue them because you're burnt out. You're burnt out, no longer settling because you don't feel like you're being yourself. You're tired of compromising because you've given too much. I feel many of you have given more than enough, so much so that you feel like you're losing yourself. Losing yourself in a situation where you should have been put on a pedestal or at least given the same energy that was given. But I feel this energy just feels love sucks. So they don't really ever give into it. Causing many of you to feel like there's no fixing them. There's no fixing this. 
So you retreated. Many of you, you retreated or you set some heavy boundaries here. This is why someone is feeling some type of way. They don't like the boundaries that you have set. Because it's too much to attach your heart to. This energy has only caused a lot of regret in your life. That has pushed you to make some really big changes. For many of you, you feel like there's no good ones left. Because of what this person has done to you. You're no longer tolerating the abuse. Because you know they may never change. For many of you, you wonder why they would even do this to you. You were there for them. You went above and beyond for them, giving self and so much more. And even after all the pain they caused, all the tension, the stress, or running at all costs, I feel you try to compromise. You try to be there. You try to stick this through, but they just kept hurting you. And even after all this pain that they caused or ran from, they always find a way to weasel themselves back in. Why? Because those in the dark will always seek out those standing in the light. Wow. Um, but I feel for many of you, it was just too much to work with. Too much to hold on to. This energy has too many insecurities. They're always playing games. And you're no longer being passive to it. You're no longer being passive pass it to their excuses, their lies, or the fact that they're never changing. You're no longer wanting to get hurt by this. Hmm. Wow. I feel in so many ways this energy comes back because they don't see something as a big deal. They don't see what they've done is a big deal at all. They just feel in so many ways you'll get over it. Yet I sense it. They just wasn't ready for someone as solid as you. I sense you have strength, loyalty, and stamina to get through things that are tough, things that are meant to break a situation. You have the energy to get through it. Yeah? <laughs> you're not perfect, but you're as close as they're ever going to get. They just couldn't match your energy. Too busy, too lazy to step up. Now there is a space of being incomplete. You're the missing piece. They're hiding their feelings. They're hiding their emotions about this because you have your heart on lock. There's a fear of losing you. They're holding on. But it's become too much because you're not talking. You're not saying a word. And I feel that it's the harshest thing they could be dealing with right now. I feel like this energy has a lot of cheating ways. There's no real loyalty when it comes to this energy. Always giving in to weaknesses or eye candy. This energy has made a situation with you very vulnerable. Especially when it comes to their addictions, toxic ways, or the fact that they're always giving you anxiety. Breadcrumbs. They're just hard to reach because they're always playing the victim. Causing many of you to just go solo. But it just makes them feel like you're playing hard to get. But I feel this energy will be rejected if they come towards you unhealed. They'll only stay stuck dealing with their own mishaps and their own misdealings because they can't be committed. They're just not your type. They're neglecting self, neglecting you, as well as others. If they have children, they pretend as if they don't. Wow. Um, this is a very unlovable energy who is very confused. This energy is confused and very demanding, causing many of you to just be guarded. This makes me feel that you're no longer allowing them to take another shot at this. This is why someone is sitting in a space of judgment, thinking that you gave in or gave up too easily, but you gave this a chance. You gave this a chance, and they blew it. So I don't see you giving them another shot because they missed you the first time. As I sense, you have already learned from this, and so will they.